Hi guys, let's unbox and review the MSI Quas here 15. Let's take a look at what we have here. Here we have a power cable and a power adapter. And underneath, we have some warranty card and user guide. And here comes our little beast. Ding, 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 ding. And let's peel this off. The laptop itself is made by plastic, but the lid cover is definitely not a plastic. It feels like aluminum with this titanium Greek color, matte finishing, and looks really stand out. And plus you have this logo, that's the Dragon, the MSA Dragon. Looks really cool. And let me give you the dimension and the weight right now. So the length of this laptop is a little bit over 14, and the deep of the laptop is 10 and a quarter. And the thickness is one inch. And this laptop weighs almost five pounds. It's not heavy and it's not light either. I don't think it's a very good idea to carry this guy around. On the left side of the laptop, we have one USB 2.0 and then one USB 3.2. And this is our intake vent and also the power port. And on the right side, we have our battery indicator, the audio port, USB 3.2, USB Type-C, HDMI, and our Ethernet cable. And there's nothing fancy in the front. And at the back, there are two vents for the outtake. Under the laptop is very interesting. As you guys can see, we can actually see through those vents. All these are heat pipes. And this should be the Wi-Fi card and our RAM. And this is gonna be the SSD right here. It seems like it's gonna bring us a lot of airflow and it's gonna be pretty good with the temperature control. And that's what we are gonna find out pretty soon. And we have four rubber feet in each corner. So it's gonna be non-slippery. And as you guys can see, the design of the back cover, all this is gonna for the laptop to be very sturdy. So it's not gonna be shaking or wobbly or something like that. And now let's take out the back cover, see what we have. So after we remove all the screws, which are 13 of them, then we can pop open the back cover. There we go. Seems like that this laptop is really friendly because all the components is right here. This is gonna be super easy for us to do any kinds of upgrade. Uh, for the CPU, we have the i7-11800H and the GPU, we got RTX 3050 Ti. And for the RAM, we got eight gigabyte, 3200 megahertz, only one stick. So we definitely want to upgrade to a dual channel. And for the storage, we have M.2 SSD. The cooling seems pretty good for now. We have two fans for the intake and outtake. And also we have four heat pipes, two for the GPU and two for the CPU. Unfortunately, we can add another M.2 SSD. We can only add a 2.5 SSD, which is down here at the left corner. And here we have our Wi-Fi card and the battery only has 52 watt hours and there's one speaker on the left and one speaker on the right and now let's pull back the back cover and boot it up see how it goes all right let's open the lid oops well i have to say that opening the lid wasn't too impressive because all the previous laptops that i review i can open the lid with just one hand no problem with two-handed it's very smooth it's not loose it's not too tight it's actually just right and let me tap on it and let me shake my desk a little bit i say it's okay it's a pass let me remove this guy. For a 15 inch laptop, we actually get a number pad. Even though it's kind of small, if you have a big hand, uh, it's pretty tough to type the number, but it's there for our convenience. And the layout of the full keyboard is rectangular. It looks very organized. And we have some decoration on each side of the laptop. And on top of the keyboard, we have a vent. I think that's for the heat to going out. And the whole keyboard is backlight RGB. And I'm pretty sure we can change the color. The keyboard is not that bad actually. It's very clicky and sounds really nice. And let me show you a clip of how it really sounds like. And the touchpad is really unique. 
it has a triangle in the middle of it and then also each corner has a line so it gave you this really cool design and it's very smooth when you click it you feel it's very solid so it's not like something really cheap and the whole panel of the keyboard it's plastic with matte finishing and it feels really nice so it won't be so sticky when you put your hands on and around our display we have our msi logo right here and up there we have a 720p webcam also your microphone and the screen itself is 1080p ips panel with 144 hertz and now let's put it up let me show you guys the noise level when the laptop is in idle mode And this is how hot the laptop is gonna be when it's in idle. So as you guys can see, the temperature is around 34 to 35 Celsius on this panel. And for the RGB keyboard, I didn't find any software that comes with the laptop, but we can still be able to change the color by press the Fn and Fa. Here comes the red, I mean flashing, another flashing. So that's basically all the colors that we can go from the whole status so this is a sort of like spectrum or rainbow but i'm pretty disappointed for a laptop that costs over a thousand dollars and then we can't even change the keyboard by a software or something like that all right guys so we're in fortnite with everything on epic we're getting around 60 fps if we're gonna change our settings to medium or low we can get up to 100 i think so let's do that okay now i changed everything to medium uh, we are getting 120 let me change the setting back to epic and uh, let's play for a little while and see the temperature and also the noise level nothing really changes so i'm gonna give you guys the noise level right now And the noise level, I say it's not that bad. And the temperature is actually pretty good too. CPU, 75 to 80. And GPU, around 78 to 79. The temperature on the panel when it's in gaming is about 40 to 42 on the left and 40 to 42 on the right. And the hottest part is the middle part. And you can go up to 53 the most. Right now it's 52.5. In my opinion, this is a really good budget 15 inch laptop. What do you think? And now let's see who is the lucky guy. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, Peterson family. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo.